Bill Leathers, Tambor Eller, and Chris Jurgensmeyer are three friends from Centralia, a small farm town in southern Illinois. They haven't seen or spoken with each other for about 20 years, until now. I never would have thought that I would have uh, been right across the street from people who I went to high school with. Uh, as it turns out, we work about a, a block and a half apart. Uh, we happen to be, you know, five, 6,000 miles from home, but, you know, just a two-minute walk from each other. For three people who knew each other in high school in a town of 15,000, to just happen to meet up in the way that we did is, is just amazing to me. They all took different paths to get here. Tambor is a DOD civilian, Chris is an Army anesthesiologist, and Bill is an Air Force advisor. To me, it's unbelievable just that uh, we live closer here than we did when we were in a small town, you know, in southern Illinois. So to think that we were all within probably a quarter mile of each other was pretty ironic. Being a small town, you run into folks all the time, generally when it's in Centralia as opposed to out of Centralia. So uh, to find one person here, let alone a second one within a week, was incredible. I just, I couldn't believe it. Running into each other was an act of fate. There are thousands of Americans in the international zone of Baghdad, so the odds of seeing a fellow Centralian were astronomical. And I saw his last name on his shirt, and when I saw that, I'm like, oh my goodness, surely that couldn't be somebody that I went to high school with that I haven't seen for 20 years. And then to find out somebody else that I also went to high school with, it was, it was exciting. After not seeing each other for more than 20 years, you would think they would be nervous about meeting each other for the first time, but that wasn't the case. I recognized both of them right away. I wasn't nervous a bit. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, their company when we were younger, and uh, that hadn't changed at all. It's like we really hadn't skipped a step. Ironically enough, it was just like we, no time had passed at all. I mean, there wasn't any awkwardness or silence or anything like that. It was just like we were back in high school all over again. So, Being deployed thousands of miles from home can be hard. But for these Baghdad friends, the comforts of home make it a little easier. Uh, I know there are people from all over the country that are here, and all over the world, really. Uh, but to know that, that, you know, that little slice of home is here with me is a pretty rewarding feeling. Um, and it's a good story to make you th really realize that it, it's not a big world that we live in after all. Petty Officer Andre Roden, Baghdad.